we have Dave here, and he, I don't know if you can tell here, he's the only guy in this ladies' event. So I put a $300 bounty on his head, and then Tamra and her husband matched it. So there's a $600 bounty on his head. He's already busted twice, so we love him for that. Thank you, Dave. Good luck, not really. <laughs> Well, Dave ended up coming out on top and winning the whole thing. It says 70-year-old Dave entered a World Poker Tour ladies event at the Seminole Hard Rock. The ladies plus internet gathered a 2k bounty on him. He went on to win it. He is the ladies event champion. He called. Someone said reporters noted he had the nuts in multiple big pots. <laughs> Now, Big Dave ended up walking away with over five and a half thousand dollars, and as you can imagine, the ladies there weren't too happy, and there was a bunch of people on the internet that were pissed off as well. But I tell you what, the throwing a real spanner in the works is if Dave had just decided I identify as a woman. Gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. Then I guarantee there'd have been a lot less people that had the balls to say anything, no pun intended. Now, I don't know why Dave did this, whether he's trolling, whether he's trying to prove that men are better than women at poker, whether he's just trying to make some quick money. Tell him to bring me my money. Yeah! One thing I think that is clear is women do not want men competing in their competitions and I agree with them. I think a ladies competition should be a ladies competition because in most things we do have an advantage, whether that be poker or physical sports. That's why I think it's unfair for biological men who now identify as women to compete in female competitions. And I don't think Dave is trying to do this but there are men going out there exposing this. They're basically pretending to identify as a woman to show the clear difference between men and women in competition. Take a look at this. So this is Avi Silverberg. Now he is the head coach for Team Canada's powerlifting team and he's been in that position for about 10 years now this is the canadian powerlifting union and their trans inclusion policy so without reading the entire policy it essentially says that an athlete gets to tell the organizers what their gender identity is and the organizers have to allow them to participate in the events with the gender that they identify with so if you're a biological male and you say, I identify as a woman, then they must allow you to compete with the women in that event. The policy also makes it clear that, quote, individuals are not required to disclose their trans identity or history to the CPU or to any of the CPU's representatives. So in a nutshell, the Canadian Powerlifting Union is just gonna take your word for it. If you wanna compete with the women and you're a biological male, you just tell them, I identify as a woman, and they'll let you compete. So this policy allowed trans women to compete with women in powerlifting. Now. This is Annie Andrews. She was the record holder in women's powerlifting in Canada. The record for a bench press that she held was 275 pounds. Now, Annie Andrews won eight out of nine competitions she entered in the women's category over the past four years. So now enter Avi Silverberg. He goes to the women's competition and he says, well, hey, even though I look like this, I identify as a woman. And he is allowed to compete in the women's competition. He then goes on to shatter Annie Andrews record of 275 pounds on the bench press by bench pressing nearly 370 pounds, making him the current women's record holder by nearly 100 pounds. So this is the video. And that's it. So he breaks the record without breaking a sweat, walks off like a boss, and then as you can imagine, there's uproar. They said that he was making a mockery of the sport. And to even throw more salt in the wound, the former record holder was right there and had a front oh, row seat to watch him do it. <laughs> now, Andreas felt that this was so wrong that they allowed a man to break her record. She actually posted a lengthy video about it, calling him a coward and a bigot because he did this with malicious intent as a nice. biological man competing in the woman's category. Bit rich coming from you though, innit? Let's keep it real. You have all the biological advantages that a man has as well. You went through puberty as a man. That's why you were breaking all the records before and that's what he's trying to expose. It's like that song. It's cool when they do it. It's a problem when I do it. Yes. Uh, somebody did show up at the meet today with uh, malicious intent. It was just entirely ignored. People lifted, I volunteered, everyone was happy that I was there. And it really struck me that maybe my participation isn't necessarily fair. Well, no fucking shit. I mean, there's science, whatever, but people welcome me because I'm actually nice to people. People want me there because I'm actually nice 
to people? I transitioned almost 20 years ago. I got all of my papers done. I have my passport. I got surgery. I can prove without any doubt whatsoever that I have gone through every step. See, that's bullshit. Not everybody's happy at the fact that you're competing. That's why people are doing these types of things. And he's probably not doing it with malicious intent. He's just trying to prove a point. It says he's a coach. He probably has female athletes that he trains, sees them training all their lives, and then he sees someone like you come along and just destroys them after years of training. This reminded me of a story from a few years back. Take a look at this. When well, tonight, on a happier note, congratulations, Renor, the rapper Zuby just set a major women's sports record, and he did it without even training and without even being a woman. A couple weeks ago, Zuby tweeted this, quote, I keep hearing about how biological men don't have any physical strength advantage over women in 2019, so watch me destroy the British women's deadlift record without even trying. And then you know what he did? He did just that. Now, why is that a record? Well, Zuby explained, quote, P.S. I identified as a woman while lifting the weight. Don't be a bigot! <laughs> now, why do you think your weightlifting record yeah. video went viral? And what have been some of the responses to it? So I think the video went viral because in a very clear way, it demonstrated the entire notion. It dispelled the entire notion that there is no inherent biological strength advantage that men have over women. I mean, that's something that we've known for thousands of years. It's the reason why men's and women's sports are segregated and always have have been to uh, maintain fairness. So I think the video went viral because it touched on a timely issue and it was somewhat amusing and comical. People did find it funny, but underneath all that, I think it did bring light to a uh, important conversation that's a lot of, that's happening all over the world right now. Now, it's not just the men who are exposing these type of things, there's women doing it as well. Take a look at this. 100 demonstrators showed up to protest a speaking event featuring Riley Gaines, a former competitive swimmer who made headlines last year after trying for fifth place in a race against trans swimmer Leah Thomas. Some students made pro-trans signs in the quad, while others attended a trans sports mixer at the QTRC. Groups of queer students staged a sit-in during the event and sported hand-drawn slogans and signs after forfeiting the others to security. Meanwhile, hundreds more protested loudly in the stairwell and along 19th Avenue. Security escorted Gaines to a secure classroom and kept her there for four hours after a group of students filled the hallways and yelled at her following the event. Once the protest came to a lull, police called for reinforcements and escorted Gaines to her car. And I started swimming at the age of four. I'm 22 now, so I dedicated 18 years of my life to swimming. And so my senior year, I had made it my goal to win a national championship, which was something I knew I was capable of doing. Middle of our season, all of a sudden, this person, Leah Thomas, comes out of nowhere, posting the fastest times in the nation by multiple seconds, which in swimming, seconds is a lot to be leading the nation by in multiple events. And so there were so many red flags, but never once did it occur to me that this could be a male until, of course, an article was posted saying that Leah Thomas was formerly Will Thomas and swam three years on the men's team at University of Pennsylvania. When I found this out, I was truthfully relieved because I was able to look up who Will Thomas was and saw that this was a mediocre man, ranking 462nd at best nationally in the men's division. So I thought the NCAA would see it exactly how I saw it. Nothing opinionated, just the sheer facts of it. But that is not how the NCAA saw it. And so that second day of competition was the day Leah Thomas and I raced. Almost impossibly enough, we tied. But I go behind the podium and the official looks at me and Leah. He says, great job. Um, you guys tied and we don't really account for ties. So Leah takes the trophy. What the fuck? He said, well, Leah has to take the trophy home because Leah has to have it for pictures. You can pose with this one, but you'll go home empty handed. Leah takes the trophy. That's truthfully when I was done waiting for someone else to stick up for us because I thought someone who was supposed to be protecting us would protect us. Shout out to Riley Gaines for doing this. It's not fair as a woman when you've been training all your life and then someone comes along who has clear biological advantages and destroys the competition. And I'm not saying these people deserve hate. I'm not saying they shouldn't be able to compete in sports. I just think they should be given their own category where it's fair. And for the delusional people living in La La Land saying, oh, they have no physical advantages. If you say that you're transphobic, then you're a Muppet and you need Michael. Stop it. Get some help. <laughs>